So we're in the bog side. This is where Sister Claire would have grown up. And uh, they just put this mural up here and a lot of people are stopping and it's doing a lot of good. Like she's infected this whole area for the good. Her story, her death, and now her life after death, the life she's giving. So like what I want to pull out here is that Sister Claire grew up in some circumstances that were not ideal. There's death, there's terror, there's darkness growing up in the troubled times here in Northern Ireland. So she was pulled out of that and not only pulled out of that but completely transformed so what I want you to take out of Sister Claire's life is if you're suffering some kind of wound can it be like the father wound where you're growing up and you're you're going through like this crisis of identity and you have this wound that's bothering you every single day an abuse when you were younger something that happened to you that's not gonna mark your whole life story it's a chapter it's a chapter in your life and God uses that for the good. Just like in Sister Claire, it didn't define her whole life. It was just a chapter in her life that God used. And so the whole story, the whole book, was something completely different. So that's what you have to put into perspective. And look and ask for Sister Claire for inspiration because it didn't completely damage her life. You know, she wasn't marked forever. It was just a part of it. And he used it for the better good. Here at the tomb of Sister Claire Crockett. It's uh, our way of kicking off our semester before we go back into our apostolate in the schools because we just want to give the mission and everything in her hands and ask her to help us. It's basically an image of one of the two ways you can live this life, all right? So you got the first way, which is my will be done, where you go through life thinking about yourself, your plans, your projects, your way of living, and God doesn't really have a big part in that. And then the second one is thy will be done where Sister Claire took that and she said, all or nothing, I'm all in. I'm putting God in first place in my life. He's gonna take control, he's gonna become priority. And then from there, everything else falls into place. But he's first, so I'm listening to him, I'm obeying him, and I'm going where he wants me to go. And there's no compromising. It's putting him where he needs to be in the first place, thy will be done. Sister Claire died at 33 years of age. She basically wasted her life in the eyes of the world but she gave the best of her life to God. So you're thinking about it, there's about 15 years of life, her prime, when she was the youngest, the most beautiful, the most talented. In all those years, she gave them to God. She gave God the best. She didn't wait until she was old and she was useless, basically, to say, look, now you can come into my life. Now I'll say my yes, now I'll give you my life. She gave it to him in her prime. And that's calling you right now to give your life and your prime. Give the best to God. Don't give him the scraps. Don't give him the leftovers. Give him what he wants. He wants to use you in your prime, in your best. So we're going to ask Sister Claire for her prayer, for inspiration, so that she can fill us with that same spirit that she had when she saw the intensity of a crucified God. And she said, how could I not give everything to a God who has given everything for me?